Hello guys, this is Rana from MathX, and today we're going to be solving the number 14 from the AMC 10B of 2020. Now, this problem, in my opinion, does not deserve the place of number 14. Because when you get down to solving the problem, the basic strat is to just basically split up the shape into such small areas, and then you can just find out the shaded portion from that, and then you'd multiply back together. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. As shown in the figure below, six semicircles lie in the interior of a regular hexagon with side length 2, so that the diameters of the semicircles coincide with the sides of the hexagon. What is the area of the shaded region inside the hexagon, but outside all the semicircles? So the first step into doing this problem is to split up the hexagon into 24 triangles. So then once we split it up to 24 triangles, we can find the shaded area from just easily computing from there. So let's just start drawing that out. Okay, now that we've drawn out the diagram here with the splitted sides, we now can focus on one particular shape that will be our key to finding out the shaded region. And that key is going to be the rhombuses that are a part of it. For example, let's just get that rhombus here circled. As you see, this rhombus. So in this rhombus, the basic strat is to subtract from the entire rhombus to get the, only the shaded area and multiplying by 6 to make up the total thing. So, the first step into doing this is to find out the area of the whole rhombus. And we can do that simply by just finding out the area of a triangle and then multiplying by 2. And since we know that the side lengths of this triangle are going to be 1 since the diameter of these semicircles is 2, which is also the side length of the hexagon. We have that, and that will be like the side length of these triangles. And since these are all equilateral, we know that 1 is going to be all of their side lengths each. Now, when we do this, we just take half base times height and use the normal triangle area formulas and we would get uh, the triangle as the area of root 3 over 4. But then we would multiply by 2 to get root 3 over 2. So let's just write that out here. Now, as you see, we've drawn the equation here as 2 times root 3 over 4 is equal to root 3 over 2. So, root 3 over 2 is going to be the area of the total rhombus in this case. Now, the next step into doing this problem is going to be splitting up this semicircle here to get this white area right here, which I'm going to circle off from the rest of it. Now, to get the area of that white area, we first have to get the area of the entire circle, then the semicircle, then we can split up from there. So, we know the diameter of these semicircles is going to be equal to 2. That means the radius in this case is going to be equal to 1. So, now that you have 1 there, you can use pi r squared, which is the formula for getting the area 
of an entire circle. If we apply 1 to that, that is going to be equal to 1 pi, or better known as just pi. Now, let's just write pi here as a symbol. Let's just write it actually above the semicircle so we know what we're referring to. Now that we've written the pi, which is representing the area of the entire circle of the radius 1, now we can just split it up further. So as you see here, this portion of this semicircle is going to be one third of the semicircle. That means it's going to be one sixth of the whole circle if we drew the rest of it. That means this area is going to be pi over 6. So let's just write that out here. So now that we've written pi over 6 here, we can just use some computation to get the answer of this problem. And to do this computation, we know that there are going to be six of these such portions. And since we know root 3 over 2 is the area of the entire rhombus, and the pi over 6 is going to be the area of this portion right here, if we just subtract root 3 over 2 minus pi over 6, and then multiply 6 by that, we should get six of these areas, which is going to be all of this. So let's just write that out and then compute for it. Okay, now that you've seen, we've computed for this equation here, I'll explain how we got this. So, to get this, we just multiplied root 3 over 2 by 6. So that means if we divided 2 on the 6, to just get rid of the 2 on this area right here, then we would be left with a 3 on the 6 and since it got rid of its 2 to get rid of the denominator on this side. So we would get 3 root 3 since we multiply the 3 times the root 3. Next we have pi over 6 and that is just pretty simple. Since 6 is the denominator, we can just cancel it out by multiplying 6 by the pi over 6 to get 6 pi over 6 which simplifies down to just pi and that would just be equal to 3 root 3 minus pi which is answer choice d so let's just mark d as you see in this problem we basically just get this entire shape into such small quantities that we can compute the area very easily and then we would multiply it back up all together to get the total.
But anyways, as you can see, we have solved this problem, meaning we are now officially finished.